Sometimes people pronounce it bruschetta, and some people pronounce it bruschetta, but we're all talking about the same thing. Okay, so we got a nice big rustic artisanal loaf of bread. I'm gonna cut off the end. All right, then we're going in deep here, right? Almost an inch, okay? You want it thick cut. Now this is gonna be the base for a starter that we're gonna serve. Again, it's gonna uh, be a bruschetta with goat cheese prosciutto, and then a warm salad all right, with spinach and some beautiful beluga lentils we're gonna cook a little later. And also a delicious balsamic honey dressing over top of the whole thing. It's gonna be sensational. So we're gonna take these guys. I think this is gonna be pretty consistent with what we're looking for. I'm gonna save this one piece back here. I'll make a grilled cheese sandwich out of it later. And we're gonna simply cut them right in half, right down the middle. Boom, okay. We're gonna take a sheet pan, put it around top like a deck of cards in Vegas. All right, then we're just gonna drizzle them with some extra virgin olive oil. I want them nice and crunchy, 350 degrees. We've already got the oven preset. All right, we'll let them get nice and toasted. I'm gonna flip them over because I want olive oil on both sides. All right. Boom, boom. It's gonna go into the oven, and this is gonna go in for probably uh, 10 to 12 minutes. I want it really crunchy, but then we're gonna cook it again with a nice smear of goat cheese and prosciutto over top of the whole thing. It's gonna look great. I know lentils are a really great bean. I think a lot of people um, don't really pay attention to lentils for some reason. I think they have a really great flavor. And what we have here is a pint of black uh, or what's called beluga lentils. They're really meaty, and they cook up, and they're very consistent. They have a great earthy, creamy flavor to them, and it's going to be really beautiful uh, with bruschetta. It's just going to be a warm little bean element uh, that we're going to toss in with the uh, balsamic and honey vinaigrette and the caramelized red onions and the spinach. So we've got one pint of lentils themselves, and we're gonna take the same container, then measure one full container of water, and then one half of the same uh, vessel itself. We're gonna have a perfect measurement. So we got one equal container of water. Set that right on top. The chicken smells great. All right, then the same container, a half. All right. And then we're gonna dump the half container right on top. All right, we've got a perfect measurement. All right, and they're gonna come out beautiful. Now we're gonna season this up. It doesn't take a lot of trickery to make them taste really good. Just a little bit of salt, some extra virgin olive oil. That's gonna make them nice and creamy and rich. And then some fresh cracked pepper. And then we're gonna throw some herbs in this. And really anything works, like bay leaves, sage, rosemary, fresh thyme. I've got a nice little bouquet of fresh thyme here. Take a couple of sprigs. All right, I'm just gonna throw it in. All right, we're gonna bring it up to like a medium simmer and just let it go. It's gonna take around like 15 minutes to come up. All right, and they're gonna, they're gonna be absolutely beautiful. With some red onions and some garlic. That's gonna be the base for our honey balsamic dressing that we're gonna toss the spinach in for our bruschetta, which is gonna be really nice. Um, so I've got one red onion. And I've got a couple of cloves of garlic here. All right, we're just gonna begin to slice these guys up real thin, throw them in some extra virgin olive oil and give them a toss. While our bruschetta base, our Italian bread, is still hot, I'm gonna take some cloves of garlic and we're gonna to start to grate it in to the toast so you can almost hear it. And this is how they do it in the old country and this is the best bruschetta. All right, so we've got some great stuff in here, all right? Prosciutto, boom, goat cheese, and also some baby spinach, which is gonna be a big time saver. And what we're gonna do is gonna split this stuff open, we're gonna give the uh, bread a good schmear of goat cheese, and then pile out some prosciutto and throw it right in the oven. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right on top of the prosciutto, and it's gonna help it crisp up in the oven. And we're gonna throw this into the oven itself for a couple of minutes. All right, let this stuff crank up, and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. All right, so we've got that. Now we're gonna make a really great, uh, very simple vinaigrette with our caramelized onions and our garlic. Um, I've got a couple of great ingredients here. I've got a little bit of balsamic vinegar. We're gonna balance that out with a little bit of honey. Uh, throw these guys in. This is gonna dress our salad. We got some baby spinach leaves. We're gonna top our bruschetta, or bruschetta, tomato, tomato. Toss it right on top, just like that. All right, a little bit of honey on top. That's fantastic. And then some extra virgin olive oil. And we got a beautiful balsamic honey vinaigrette, caramelized onions. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna stir in the honey and the balsamic vinegar and just let everything start to melt together. Now, this is a really good idea for a warm spinach salad as it is, but on top of the bruschetta, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so we got that. All right, 
we have our spinach. You know what I mean? We're gonna take a nice big handful of this, and we're just gonna take our vinaigrette and just toss it in warm with our lentils. And this is gonna go right on top of the bruschetta when it comes out of the oven. Isn't that great? Look at that. Caramelized onions, balsamic honey, spinach, goat cheese prosciutto. All right, it's gonna be fantastic. Toss this right on top, just like that. A couple of nice big spoonfuls of the black lentils and just kind of scattered around. I'm just gonna pile them right up on the plate. And we got plenty for seconds. There you go, it's gonna look good. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the greens and just kind of pile it right on top. So you get lots of really good color, some great texture. It tastes really fresh and you got a great starter. So someone can just kind of come by, grab one of these, put it on a plate. I would drizzle it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right at the very end and you've got a fantastic starter. Now we're gonna scoop some of our lentils, which uh, sometimes the French will call caviar lentils or beluga lentils, like beluga caviar. Um, we're gonna spoon our creamy lentils right on top and you got a great dish. Really hearty, very rustic, just beautiful fresh food. Pile it up high and you've got a winner. Next time you wanna put some chicken together, you gotta take a look at this recipe because it's off the chart. That's it right there.